Hello guys, I'm Ahmed Hafi with you today to show you the new version of EasyPixelate. Uh, this is a file you should have downloaded, so you need to extract. You get this file, you need to uh, copy this to the Cinema4D directory, the plugins folder, and then let's open Cinema4D. By opening this plugin menu, you should have Easy Pixelate here. So, um, Easy Pixelate version 2.0 have a lot of new options. So the settings here, I think there's nothing new. Uh, only um, the gaps option. So the gaps can it change? So. Uh, Easy Pixelate automatically calculates the gaps, but sometimes it's a little bit big or a little bit small, so you can change it, make it smaller or bigger. Also, in uh, version 2.0, you have uh, a lot of shading modes. So you have the single color shading mode. or the multicolor shading mode which have a 20 color which have 20 color to use and you have seeds to change them you have also the gradient color and it is completely new in this version and finally you have the custom where you can use a different material, a material you did it yourself. Uh, the dynamics tab, I think, uh, nothing new in it, only a few new options added. And this tab is completely new to Easy Bixlate, which have seven built in effectors to use them quickly and easily inside Cinema 4D. So I want uh, I will show you uh, quickly what each effector do basically. This position effector can change the position of the pixels, and you can use a follow for this also. And you have lots of follow -off options here. Um, the scale effector is the same thing, but it just changes the scale, rotation, the same thing. Sound effector you can use a sound file in it to change the position, scale, or, or the rotations of the pixels. The inheritance effector, you can inherit the movement of another object into the pixels. And you can also use fallout for this. And randomize, which can randomize the position of uh, position, scale, or rotation of the pixels in three modes, static, or two animated modes, which is turbulence, and noise. And finally, the delay effector, which can add some spring movements and some um, delaying to the movement of the pixels. And um, if you have any option here that you don't know what to do, all you need to do is go to the official documentation of the Cinema 4D and just search for this name for example the morph motion object let's click search so you see it's an inheritance effector you should find the morph motion object here so this is basically this one and here it's what it does so I hope that you find this plugin useful and for any questions or suggestions just send me an email on this 
address